I'm going to stop talking right now. But I just want to say to you, as Secretary of Labor, in the car over there is my jacket, in my jacket is my wallet, in my wallet is my union book, my dues are paid. Right. It's such an honor. It's such an honor to be standing here in front of you today. I just read some words off a page, but they come from my heart. We have an opportunity right now, at this moment in time in this country, to do some amazing things. You've come to rallies before, and you've rah rah and we've said all the right words, and we've pushed back. But never before have we had the stars lining up the way they are. We have a president who believes in the work you do. We have a president that believes in your families. We have a president that believes in creating pathways into the middle class. We have a president that believes in organizing collective bargaining. We have a president that has asked me and, and Gina Raimondo to sit down, the Secretary of Commerce, to sit down at the tables, commerce and labor, not commerce and labor, and put a line down the middle, but let's work collectively together to increase opportunities for our businesses and our communities and make sure our businesses are strong and make sure our workers have the right to organize. We have a unique opportunity, moment in time. I want to thank the steel workers. I want to thank you for this bus tour. I want, you for, I want to thank you for driving around this country and reminding people that it's important about what's happening right now at this moment in time. Okay? I want to say thank you very much for the opportunity to be here in, in your house today. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.